Georgian Banoff leads worship across the world. Not only does he love rocking out for God, he's also a classical violinist. While Georgian rejoices in his freedom as a Christian, he still mourns over those who suffered for decades in his childhood home of Bulgaria, trapped behind the Iron Curtain. They immediately went after killing every capitalist because according to Karl Marx, capitalism is the main evil. They made them dig the ditch, they throw them in the ditch, they put fire on them, I mean oil and burn them. We stand here at the Victims of Communism Memorial, dedicated to the more than 100 million people killed by the communist. It's important to remember that system and socialism are inextricably linked. After all, the communist USSR was the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, a system controlling everything that levels its citizens out by crushing individual incentive. Everybody makes the same amount of money. So if you're good at certain and work hard, you don't get a dime more than the guy that sit and do nothing. So the productivity goes low and low and low. This is very destructive to successful economy. Georgian points out how shortages inevitably follow. There's nothing to, nothing to buy because everything is so depleted. The only thing you could buy every day is bread. Georgian remembers being one of the five families packed into a five-room home, and he remembers the constant fear. Now everybody's poor, and unless you're saying things that are in line 100% with the communist propaganda and doctrine, you get pulled out and eventually you disappear. And in the schools, your life, profession, and even your beliefs are all dictated to you. You are directly controlled by a supervisor who is over the teachers, so making sure everything you say supports the communist. Georgian points out it's not just about economics, but snuffing out God. He explains Karl Marx, the man behind socialism and communism, despised God and wrote these words. God, I hate you and I'll hurt you by destroying the people you create for your glory. So the whole system is actually an antichrist system. They became the God. Praise us. Glorify the communists. So it was a religion. Georgian saw how Bulgaria clamped down on Christians with an iron fist and especially targeted spirit-filled believers. They had power, now the Holy Spirit gives you power. So the Holy Spirit people were the most persecuted because they're the most unsubmissible, unsubmissible. They didn't give their membership. They, they, they meet in secret only, underground. Bibles were confiscated and every Bible press was destroyed. For those who think America can have a softer, kinder socialism, Georgian wishes they could understand for this system to succeed, it has to take total control. And that means taking away freedoms. He contrasts that to the God who gives us freedom, gifts, and power to lovingly care for all. You don't need to empower the government to fix your problems. We, the people, are well able to fix our problems. So instead of falling for what the communists will do for you, ask what God will do for you with the gift he's given you. It was Georgian's gift of music that got him into trouble with the communists. We were the first rock band ever to come on national television. We weren't even that good, but there was no bands to compare. These rockers would drive their Bulgarian audiences wild and eventually catch the communist watchful eye. Young people standing and clapping would, to them is like revolution. That they say, no clapping during songs. And finally, the communists shut down the rock and roll in the middle of a big concert. And plugged all our guitars and instruments. You're all going home, no more rock and roll. This is out of control. That pushed me to want to get out of there, and I said, that's it, I can't handle this. Eventually, I got escaped through Iron Curtain and made it to the free country, yay! And here in America, he met the Jesus people who led him to a personal encounter with God. That's the first time I felt freedom that I long for on the inside. A freedom Georgian wants people to know they'll never find under socialism, and the control it will clamp on them. Paul Strand, CBN News, reporting from the Victims of Communism Memorial, Washington. Well, we need to know our history. We specifically need to know the history of Europe after World War II, uh, what we now call the former Soviet Union, the Soviet bloc, the Iron Curtain, all of those things, and, and just what happened to those cultures, uh, what happened to those people. If you think there's some kind of socialist utopia, a socialist ideal, um, well, that's what people earnestly believed in the Russian Revolution, but you see the fruit of it, and you have to turn away in horror at what happened. 
Uh, also, what happened in China, uh, you turn away in horror the number of people that were killed, uh, the number of things that happened, and whether it was in the Cultural Revolution or what's happening right now, uh, that there's no freedom of thought, uh, there's no freedom of assembly. Uh, you don't get to earn your way. It, it's, these, these are incredible things. Now, on the surface, it's appealing. You start saying, well, what about free education for everybody? <laughs> well, when it sounds good, and that's the you hook. Know, or free livelihood for everyone, or what about a basic income, all of these things, and then all of the incentive payments that have gone out from our government over the past year. Uh, a lot of people are saying, I, I really like that incentive payment. Uh, I'd like to have that a lot more. And... Uh, but the problem is, and Georgian pointed it out, when everybody makes the same amount, well, there's no real reason to perform, uh, and there's no real reason to add value. Well, it, you know, it takes hard work to move forward in your life, to excel, to buy, to exchange things. And, you know, it, there's an incentive in that, but there's also a recognition of your effort that propels you to keep doing that. And, you know, thus society grows. But honestly... And, I, and more importantly, I think the liberty to do that. Right. That you have the freedom to uh, do it with your own hard work and do things. But maybe part of the problem is that our, our gen next generation has lost that hope, uh, that they don't see that through hard work and through effort uh, they can really make it. But the hope would be that that generation would take the time to look back at what's happened in other mm -hmm. societies that have chosen to try the socialist experiment. And also look back at America. Yes. Um, uh, yes. How far we've come, uh, the ideals that we had, uh, how from the devastation of the Civil War, ingenuity took over, uh, and, and that's what really created the American dream, the whole concept that you can pull yourself up by your bootstraps kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And you can make a better world for yourself, but more importantly, for your children and your grandchildren. They literally lived for the future generations. Yeah. Uh, so if we've lost sight of that, we've lost something very precious. Mm -hmm. Hello, I'm Gordon Robertson. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more encouraging videos like this one. Welcome to the 700 Club Interactive Family, and God bless you.